Mastering movement in Lightburn software is something that will save you a lot of time and a little bit of frustration in the long run. It's definitely worth memorizing a couple of shortcuts and discovering where this toolbar exists. So first, let's discover the toolbar. Right up here on the top, you've got five tools dedicated to movement in Lightburn software. The first one that we're gonna look at is called Pan Drag View. This works exactly as you would expect. So let's select on that, come down to the laser bed, and as you see, as I click down on the laser bed, I can drag the view. You've used this in many other softwares, most certainly, and it works exactly as you would expect. Now, if you have a mouse that has a wheel you can simply clockwise turn and it will zoom in. It's going to zoom in wherever your mouse is and that's something that will get you a little bit hung up at times. If you want to zoom out, counterclockwise on the wheel and there you go. The manual way to zoom in and zoom out is right here. You can simply click on this if your mouse does not have a wheel and you will zoom in. Click over here to zoom out. Now that's all very basic and I'm sure you knew about all of that, but the two tools you may not have known about are right here. The first one we're going to explore is zoom to page. Watch what happens when I click on that. It was only a small adjustment. Let me make this very wonky and now click it again. Boom. There it goes. It frames up the laser bed perfectly. Now there's a shortcut for this. Control zero or command zero on a Mac. That's the shortcut you need to memorize. Control zero or command zero. There's one other game changer and here it is. This is called zoom to frame selection. So whatever objects I have on my laser bed, boom, they're perfectly framed. This is going to save me so much time and frustration using this software. I can't believe I just discovered it. I'm very excited to share this one with you and it also has a shortcut. Control shift a or command shift a on a mac boom there you go it frames everything perfectly now when i go ahead and zoom out with a counterclockwise wheel or i can come up here and zoom out manually by clicking i can draw a new circle and here's the new circle now let's go ahead and use this new tool zoom to frame selection and it frames up even that new circle perfectly and instantly. I hope you get some value from this tutorial and I really truly believe it will save you some frustration and it'll definitely save you some time. If you did get some value from this, I'd love to have you on board with the Hobby Laser Machine channel as a subscriber. And if you have any feedback or if you would maybe like to make a suggestion for a tutorial, simply leave it in the comments and I'll get on that as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for watching.